Welcome to the Verisys video series. My name is Rob Snowert. Today I'm going to talk to you about the TEC 3000 thermostat. TEC 3000 thermostat is a thermostat that we have for Verisys that can do fan coil units and it can also do uh, single zone rooftop units. In the case that I have right here, we have a single zone rooftop unit controller. So to get the, the TEC 3000 to talk to a smart building hub, pretty simple. All that you really have to do is set an, a BACnet address, which I will show you here um, right now. So to do that, you will uh, use the menu of the TEC. The menu is the top button here in the upper corner. And when you press the menu, you go into the, the menu section of the TEC, and there you can configure the, the TEC to what it is that you need. Through the up and down arrows, you can scroll to the various submenus within the TEC. The submenu I'm looking for is network setup. So through network setup, it's where you set your BACnet address and you also set your communication mode. So we need to make sure that the communication mode is BACnet. By default, it should be that, but it could also be N2. But we need to just make sure and verify that that has been set to BACnet. Once it's set to BACnet, for to get it to communicate to the smart building hub, you need to set a unique BACnet address. In this case, we have it set to six, and it is unique, and it will talk to that, that address, so I don't need to change it um, for this particular example, but this is where you would set or change that address and then save it. Once, it's set, once that's set up, it will talk to the smart building hub, and you can, from there, further configure. But while you're at the, the system, you might as well configure the equipment as well. And you do that through the submenu underneath network setup of equipment setup. And through the equipment setup, you can set general. And through that, you can set the number of compressors, number of heating stages, any kind of minimum on and off timers, any kind of cooling lockout settings, basically anything that pertains to the equipment and the, the, the type of system that the equipment is controlling. So once you have all that set up, you can, I backed out too far, but you can go back into the menu and then you can go ahead and use a commissioning menu. And through the commissioning mode, you then can take and notice that the fan the fan is the screen LED, shut off immediately. So everything started as, an, as off. And through that, you can take and do something like turn on the cooling stage. And that will automatically turn on the cooling stages without any timers, it just comes on. You don't have to move set points up and down, comes on and stays on. You can manually turn it off or if you want, you can back out of the menu, and then once you back out of the menu, it will uh, revert back to standard control. So through this commissioning menu, it's pretty powerful. We can set the fans. If you have a supply air temperature sensor um, that's hooked up to here and it's reading reliably, you can check your supply air temp through the commissioning menu. So um, it's a very valuable little tool to set up your, your unit. So while you're setting your address, you might as well set up your equipment, check out your equipment really good. So that concludes uh, the commissioning, the equipment setup, and the network setup of the TEC 3000. Thank you.